I'm saying like you have to be ready if you want to go from glory to glory, you have to be ready for God to make room for the bigger, for the better, for the bigger glory that you're waiting on, right? Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to bring you guys this new video all about how to make adult friendships and endure the hardships of making adult friendships. And I have some really good tips at the very end of the video that you don't want to miss. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Okay y'all, friendships, adult friendships, they are some of the most challenging relationships that I have personally endured in my short 26 year life. But I know that a lot of you guys have requested for me to talk about adult friendships, how I make friends, how have I endured the hard times, and so I wanted to share that with you. So I guess I should go into what my friendships have been like over the past, I would say like five years, because I feel like when you turn 20, you feel like more of an adult. But anyways, what my friendships have been like. So y'all, I got burned. And I'm gonna explain more of that in a little bit, but specifically I'm gonna talk about the friendships that I have lost within the past couple of years. So I lost a friendship with a dear mentor of mine. We were, connected for a really, really long time, like 10 plus years. And all of a sudden, God kind of plucked that relationship out. And that was really, really hard for me. And then a couple of months later, I had a really um, good best friend who we cut ties because she was the maid of honor in my wedding and she decided that she no longer wanted to be in the wedding. So it's safe to say after that relationship that kind of ended as well. And that was really, really tough for me. I was in a spot because it was back to back. I was like, God, what is going on? Why are all of these people being taken out of my life? It was interesting because I feel like before both of those relationships ended, this is God and his grace. He kind of, allowed me to grieve before it happened. You know how you like get really sad and sometimes it's anxiety, but sometimes, you know, it's the Holy Spirit kind of prepping you, but you know how you get really sad before something happens? Like I was crying. It was hard for me to eat some days, just being fully transparent. And I feel like I was being tormented on the inside and I'm like, Lord, why do I feel like I'm grieving this friendship before it's even lost? And I feel like that is the Lord's kindness towards me when that happened to prepare my heart to be like, hey, okay, I'm about to take these people out of your life. And so it was tough losing those friendships. I lost friends in college and I got to this point where I was like, I feel like I've lost everyone. You know, you go from high school having like all of these friends, like 20 plus friends. You're like, these are all my best friends and we're good and yeah. And then I feel like you go through college, then you graduate college, that's that's the part. I mean, not even just graduating college, but like getting to your 20s and stuff like that. That's when you really see who your real friends are. And I feel like I got to a place where I'm like, Lord, I literally have three friends. Why? Like where, where's this coming from? Am I gonna be a loner? Does nobody like me? And I had to go through all of these thoughts in my head and kind of cast down all these bad thoughts of like, I'm not good enough, you know? Like, I, do you feel me on that? I feel like we're on the same page with that. You feel like you're not good enough. But one thing that my mom and dad have always told me is that you want to have, the amount of friends that you want to have is like the ones that you can count on your hand. So like five really strong, core, amazing, amazing friends in your life that will be with you through the good and the bad. They're not there to just kind of like ride on your coattail. They're not there to get jealous of you when great things happens. They're there to really do life with you, to build you up in the faith, to grow with you. The Lord has helped me learn a lot of tips to help me to learn and to grow. And when I was talking about getting burned, okay, yeah, you know how people are like, yeah, I was burned. Yes, in a sense, I was burned, but in a way, it was a refinement. I was being brought through the fire to be refined and to be made more like Christ. So I'm not looking at it in a sense of, I got burned. I welcome it and look at it as refinement 
being shaped and molded into the image of Christ to become more like him so I can be the best version of myself. And I want to read a really amazing verse to y'all before I get onto these really good tips at the end. But it's 1 Peter 1, 6 through 7. And it reads, You rejoice in this, even though now for a short time, if necessary, you suffer grief in various trials, so that the proving character of your faith more valuable than gold, which though perishable, is refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So like I said, yes, I got burned, but I got burned in the best way possible. And it was because I was being refined, going through a process of grieving, of hurting, of healing from friendships that did not serve me, that were not meant to be there, that God intended more for me. And now since then, I've had these amazing relationships come into my life to see the fruits of him pushing people out to bring better in you know what I'm saying like you have to be ready if you want to go from glory to glory you have to be ready for God to make room for the bigger for the better for the bigger glory that you're waiting on right sometimes that's people sometimes that's things sometimes it's moving to a different state you don't know what it looks like to when God is intending to make room, but oh boy, you better be ready because is he gonna make room? So anyways, anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit of my story. For adult friendships have not come easy to me, but I do wanna share a couple of tips that have really helped me along the way. Okay guys, let's get into these tips. I'm really excited. It's only three of them. You only have to remember three of them. So number one is always remain open. And I really love this one because I've seen the fruits of this in my own life by just remaining open, even before I got hurt and all of that stuff. Because I feel like the most amazing friends that the Lord will bring into your life are the ones who are super opposite from you, the ones that you wouldn't expect at the places you would never even be at. And sometimes I feel like we, we get this picture in our head, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I feel like we get this picture in our head of like, okay, my friend is gonna be very similar to me. But dear God, what I've learned is I do not want a friend who is the exact clone of me. <laughs> we don't need two people in this situation. So be open that they're different. Be open that they may not, not like the same things as you or shop or look or act the same way as you. Just remain open. And I think even for those who, you know, like me, who have gone through a lot of hurts in friendship, Always be open with your heart, meaning don't close it off. Don't put up walls just because you got hurt. First of all, the Lord never wastes our hurts, right? So we have to remember that because we've been hurt, we go from glory to glory. So there's always something good on the other side of a broken friendship, a better, it could be an even better friendship. Hello, it could be our future spouse, okay? So always remain open, keep your heart open, keep your mind open to the possibilities of what God can bring to you, what type of friend God can bring to you. Number two, always be led by the Spirit when making friends. This was a huge one that revolutionized the way that I was able to make friends because before I was like, Oh my gosh, this girl has the same shoes as I do. She likes shoes, I like shoes, we're best friends. It's great, we're good, right? But that is not how, especially in adulthood, that is not how the Lord has called us to find friends. We need to find friends who will lift us up and encourage us and grow with us and not be jealous and not try to talk bad about us and not try to make it all about them. We are supposed to be iron sharpening iron, right? And so I feel like when you're spirit led in the friends that you choose, just like as if you were spirit led in a spouse. Isn't that the craziest thing? Sorry, I'm going on a tangent, but I was just talking to Reggie about this. Isn't it the craziest thing that with trying to find a boyfriend or girlfriend or a husband or a wife, we're so spirit led and try to be so specific and we make all the lists and we do all the things. But when it comes to our friends, we're just like, Nah, if they're nice and I get along with them, great, they're good enough for me. At least that's what I did, which is crazy and doesn't even make sense. So I think being spirit led is really helpful to discern, okay, what does that person have going on inside of them? Do they have selfish tendencies like we all do? Do 
Are they talking bad about others, which we all have done? Are they doing things that do not align with who you want to become, but also who you want to do life with? And I think that's so important because especially if you're going to spend a lot of time around friends, friends matter. Who you choose as your friends matter. And I think we're only able to choose the right friends with the wisdom and the power of the Holy Spirit. So just make sure you're spirit led and choose those friends that not only feel good to be around, but that align with who you want to be. The third tip is to work on yourself. How are you going to find friends if you don't even know who you are? Hello. How are you going to find friends if you don't even know who you are? And I feel like this was a big one for me too. I was kind of lost in the sauce of kind of going with the flow with, with what everybody else was doing, what everybody else thought was cool, whatever. And then I would find these friends and we would, it would feel good in the moment, we would get along. But a couple of years down the road, we would start to clash because I would evolve, they would evolve, and our morals and who we wanna be and what we wanna accomplish, they don't align. And so I think when you know who you are and who you wanna become, like I keep saying, and I think when you take the time to get comfortable with yourself, when you take the time to love yourself well, you won't put up with any extra shenanigans or people tearing you down within your friendships. You know, I feel like when we're sure of ourselves we're able to be sure in our friendships and not just take any and everything that comes our way from friends. Because I've had some friends where they felt like they could walk all over me. And I allowed that because I didn't know who I was. And so I would just encourage you, if you are feeling stuck in finding adult friendships, remain open, be spirit led, and work on yourself. But also just get out there, like join different Facebook groups, join a Bible study at church, join a biking club, find an extracurricular activity that you love to do and you can do it in a group. I feel like there's so many different ways to find friends and it's easier said than done, but it's about like stepping outside of yourself and stepping outside of your bu bubble and being willing to find them. And sorry, this is free, no extra charge. I just thought of something else. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But definitely make sure that you pray for the right friends. That's another thing that I was not really great at doing. I never prayed for great friends. I prayed for my now husband, Reggie, right? But I didn't think to pray for friends. So I feel like praying for your friends and even future friends that are to come is so powerful and will help you to gain the circle that you desire and the ones that you feel like will help to take you to the next level because it's, again, it's about iron sharpening iron. And while we don't find friends to just take, 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 we wanna give as well, but we wanna give and take relationships so that we can continue to advance the kingdom and serve others well, and love others well, and all the things that make the world go round. <laughs> so anyways, I don't even know what that was. But comment down below letting me know if you feel like you're having a hard time finding friends. Also, I, love this community and I find it is really, really comforting for people who don't feel like they have a community. And so comment down below if you wanna get more plugged into things. Um, you know, I'm always on Instagram, I'm always on Facebook, I'm on here, you know, and I wanna be your friend. I wanna be, build a community here where we can hear each other, where we can sharpen each other and all that good stuff. So anyways, comment down below, letting me know what your friend situation is and if you have any tips on making friends, I would love to hear it. But other than that, guys, I'm so excited for what this year holds. Hopefully you are too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.